Hi, welcome to a small tutorial on how to set up a basic express REST API with two demo routes, uh, returning some JSON, returning some text and returning a documentation page. So let's get started. I will be using the getting started guide of express itself. So on the right side here, we see get express express.js.com. So if we go to the getting started guide, we start with installing it. Now I will not go over, uh, the complete tutorial. I will do it uh, a bit faster on my own. Let's see express if we want to uh, create a project with express, we of course need it to be an NPM project. So let's get it going. NPM in it dash Y. And we have a dummy project. Then of course, we need to install express since, since that is an NPM package express that will be installed as you can see node modules is added so all the files are there now we need a starting point for our server we will uh, use index.js or server.js as you will and that basically is the starting point of our application that is in short what the getting started installing is for make sure you are in a separate folder so for the people who are following this for Erasmus Dogo School Brussels for web 2 make sure you are in exercise one folder to make this exercise next part would be hello world now I won't be typing it over one by one I will be copying it and then explaining to you what it actually does so I copied the demo code here and I will be running the application with the command. Just like we did with the script in the node exercises, we will be running the server uh, here as well. Now, one difference we will have is that we use nodemon for this. So nodemon, we can either use node, but then it will only run once. And when we change some code, we have to stop and start the server again. Nodemon allows it to automatically restart automatically restart when we change some values. All right, so let's get going. We have index.js, we run it. And as you can see, my server now is running. So yes, you are running an API currently on your PC. What is the URL? Well, localhost that refers to your own PC and 3000 is the default port that you set here. You can change that to one of your liking. If I click on that control click, you see the hello world. As you can see here, hello world. If I said, hello, Mike, you see my service restarted. So I have my new server. And of course, there is nothing here. Now, why is that? Because this waits for a get request. A get request is when we enter a URL. If we press enter here again, we will make a new get request and we'll see hello, Mike. So that is the basics of Express itself. Now let's see what is in here. We installed the package Express, as you can see here, const Express require. So we are getting the package itself. Then Express allows us to create one variable called an app, for example, here or express and just with this easy function. So this means we have everything we need in here and we set a port app gets. We will get to that in a second. But the most important thing in here is app. Listen, app. Listen means, hey, start my server on this port and do something when it's done. For example, in this case, a console log example app listening at and then the local host. So if I change this, I will say my first rest API and you see it restarting. My console log says my first rest API and it's listening. Now to even get a bit further, this is a route, a route that waits for something to be called at the root level. So root means localhost 3000. When we want to check if something is called, we can do a console log. So it's restarting again. So, okay, we don't see anything, but if I refresh my page, you see local root call. So that means when I call my API, do a get request, I come in here, this code gets executed. And then of course, 
when a request is sent to a server, you have to send a response. And that is the rest variable here. It's as you can see, it is a type of response. Now we can send all kinds of things. Let's create a first new route. So let's let's go back to the uh, to the example here. So if in the getting started, we have our hello world express generator, you can ignore for 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 this course and then basic routing. Now routing, we have talked about in the theory about methods, as you can see, a get, a post, a put and a delete. You it's just as easy as defining a get, a post, a put and a delete the word behind it. Now, your browser is only able to produce get request. In a separate video, we will see how we can use a tool like Postman to test these routes. Now we will be using in this tutorial only get requests. So let's create some new ones. Let's create app.get. The first one is the URL. So let's just create a test, a new test route. And the second parameter is a function, a function that has the request, the response, and of course, a body to do something with it. So that means we can do send. Again, I will copy it. We will send something back and we will send something different back. Test succeeded. Test succeeded. Oop. Exclamation mark. Yes. So now we have a route, just the, the, the route. And we have a test route. Now, how do we test this? Well, we can either do refresh again, local root called, or we can add localhost 3000 slash test. And you see test succeeded. So that works perfectly. That means I now have two routes that I can call. Remember any API you've used in the past, like the Pokemon API, like the, um, you know, there's a Chuck Norris API, Star Wars API. This is basically the same principle. You create routes, you execute some code in there and you send the response. Now, of course, if we're talking about actual data APIs, they send back data like JSON files. How do we do that? Well, you can send anything back, really. Let's do a data route. And instead of sending back text, let's just create a variable here that in the future we will get from a database or a file. Let's data, or let's see, example data, and just a regular old object. Let's call it name, Mike, and age. 32. So a regular object with a couple of my details, and I will send back that example. My server has restarted. If I change this to data, then you can see in raw form, this is Mozilla adding this top part to it, you will get back the data. And it's a valid JSON file that you can use in your application. Now imagine having a front end site calling this. Now you can use this data in your application for that. The next part, what we're going to see in the getting started guide is static files. Now, sometimes you just need to return an HTML file, an image or something else. Now for this, we will create a folder called public files. You can just access from the outside that don't need a specific route uh, for that. So let's create a public folder. And let's create an HTML file in there, info.html. Now remember, for the course project in Web2, we don't use this to place our website in. This is just one HTML file for the info that will provide us with some info on the available routes. So create a dummy HTML file in here with, let's say, three routes. Okay. And what do we have here? We have a get route on this. That's the root, the root info page. Then we have, what else did we have? We have a test, uh, test 
And you see what I'm doing? I'm providing documentation for people who are watching my API and can actually test it. A test string. And then this, the last one would be, I think it was data. A random JSON object. Uh, all right. That's it. That's a file. Now, how do we provide that? We don't need to create another route, but we need to uh, inform our. Um, let's let's just add here the h1 uh, API documentation. All right, let's make. So we have our data, we have our test, we have our route. Now, in the beginning, we can do something and say use. So app use. And we can do some handlers in here. That means that Express needs to use these types of things. This, this can be middleware, which will come in, 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 in a later part if you're interested. Uh, or in this case, we are providing all the images, CSS files, JavaScript files, and everything that is public from the public folder. So express.static public. Now, what does this do? Well, look now. Instead of data, I'm just going to place info dot html we have no route to this whatsoever but we have a public folder so if we do html info we get our info page this is the exact html that we have here now to finalize this exercise every time you go to your route localhost.3000 it re it really needs to redirect to the info page because if you surf to an api if you surf to the pokemon api for example, here, Poke API. If I search to the Pokemon API, I come to the basic page here. Okay, so just like ours, when we serve to localhost 3000, because it's hosted on our machine, we need to automatically redirect to the info.html page. Now, how do we do that? Well, we have another method, as you can see, local root called. When we serve to the regular localhost 3000 instead of sending back a response we are redirecting to a different location redirect and where do we redirect to you guessed it info.html everything is relative to the current path so that means info.html will be added to the current url which is localhost 3000 if i move to localhost 3000 and press enter i still get to the info so this is how you set up a basic express server in about 15 minutes. So good luck with that. Make sure that everything works. And then I'll see you in the next video.